What can I do for you? Uh, <laughs> there, and welcome back to Cory Loses, where today we are once okay. again continuing our Knights of the Old Republic playthrough. In the last episode, we cleared out a lot of the Cath Hounds from uh, at least the southern part of Dantooine. And we went to the Metal Grounds, but uh, nothing we could do there. So we're going to the Sandra Grounds now. We're going to try to do some of the side quests before we get back to Juhani, because I do want to get another level. But uh, we'll see how likely that is. I don't want to fight that group. Oh, I do want to fight this group, though. That group of Cath Hounds we'll take care of later. Um, Oh my god. Okay, you died first. You died next. Yeah. I was hoping to turn that off. You're dead. Alright, mission. I'll show them. Nope. Here it is! Try the mission is still alive. Die! Oh well, that what? actually worked. All right. Huh? Uh, huh? So Revan, you yeah. want to stand back up sure. so I can? Huh? What? Yes. There we go. I know I already went over this, but I was just so hyped up. Uh, so unfortunately, we didn't get the experience from that. I don't think. Because I was dead. Average plasma mine. Oh, so many mines. And credits. Soon enough, we'll be able to go uh, buy a fair amount from some store somewhere. Another data pad. Let's see. What do you got for me, Mandalorian data pad? Uh, where, oh. I went past it. There it is. Oh, it's the same one we found last time. So return to Ebonhawk and just uh, get our heal back. Get our heal on. Get our health back. Without wasting a health pack. Alright. Uh, let's see. What's our... 42.5, 34, 34. They're identical. So hold on, it must be, it must be party stuff. Sure. Yeah, see, Revan agrees. I'm not, I'm really not sure how that system works. Oh God, that is, that is a big albino cat hound. Oh god, there's there's a lot of them. Let's leave. That's not happening. Alright, so maybe we don't fight them yet. <laughs> Mission. Let's go back around... let's see. Go around this way. 
There's still some here. I was afraid of that earlier, but... Oh, look! They're already attacking... Oh, this is a droid. A weird sex droid. What is that pose? What are you doing? I think that's the cave that Red and Mal are in. Alright, C8. It's, it's okay. Thank you for saving me, Master Jedi. I am C842, a personal assistant droid. Vibro droid? Uh, what are the hounds attacking you? Who knows? They are beasts and have been very aggressive of late. I am sorry if I seem a bit abrupt, but I must be moving along. I am rather in a hurry. Where are you running? Where are you going to? Are you running from? Ooh, this but is more interesting. Master, Elise, wait, did she send you to find me? Please do not tell her you saw me. Uh, you're running from her? Yes, but I have my reasons. I'm oh afraid my, my owner became a bit too attached to me. Obsessed, even. She she tried to treat me as her dead husband. Mm. It was not healthy for her. Her all the time? You don't want to know. I can guess. Probably not. She is obsessed. She rarely sees other people and appears to be fixated on me as her husband. She was becoming more and more insular. I thought it best that I leave. She may meet other real people this way. In fact, that was the reason I came here and sought out those cat hounds. Suicide or something? I think it would be best if I were no longer a factor. She would meet new people. Living people. Please, will you destroy me? Uh... You should go back to her, uh, I guess. why? Uh, she's lonely and needs your support. You're right. How could I be so selfish? I must uh, not I, I don't myself, feel good about any of this. Her. She must be frantic. And if she lost me, she'd be devastated. I must return then. It is my duty. It, I, I don't... I'm not happy with what I just... No. I, can I... I don't want to destroy you, but I also don't want to send you back to the... No. Oh. Crystal Cave... I don't think we should go in there yet. Uh, what's, what are we doing? Missing companion. What we get? I guess we'll get experience if we go and tell her, but... Uh, I don't want to lose our fast travel stuff. So we'll stay out here for a bit. Hold on, what's our, what's our experience looking like? 43.5... Can you look at the different maps? I don't think so. Wait, you can't? Nope, you can't. Can we get around these Cath Hounds and go over that way? Or maybe just like aggro one? At a time? Yeah. No, no, no. Yeah. What? Here it is. Okay. <laughs> Okay, let's let them deal with the, the other ones. Nope. Okay, this is not gonna work. 
I was just gonna hopefully like lead them around and but yeah that's that's not that's not happening I guess we should just go either into the cave or to Juhani I get there's also there's other places here got to be an easier way to just get that experience. Okay, well let's leave here for now. Because we have to go to the cave later anyways. Uh, that's to... Ancient Grove, that's the path north. Probably some stuff around ah, here. Ah, oh. so this is the meddler. You have caused us far too much we already for a mere Jedi. You. Now this is what I've been waiting for. I will add your head to those of the Unless other just Jedi I have killed and take yet another lightsaber for my own. Now you will Does know why the them? Mandalorians are feared. I uh, no this yeah this is a this is a new set. All right. Let's take out these men from the huh. I don't remember that. Oh my god! I didn't mean any of it. Jesus. None of this was okay. Um. Mommy? Does this happen automatically if you go out? Can I avoid this? Yeah, let's just, uh... Let's loop around a little bit. Yeah. That's gonna be a no for me right now. Uh, thank you for... Thank you for the visit. We may need to go get uh, new equipment before, before engaging any of this next stuff. Oh, we haven't gone out this way yet. Luke. Who are you? Oh, I think I like this mission. Or this part. Oh, wait, did I like this or did I hate this? I had strong feelings one way or the other about this. What do you want me to do? Isn't this your job? Okay. These three men were out here in the field together earlier before the clouds broke. Found that very odd, for most people would seek shelter indoors when the sky is filled with dark storm clouds, as it was earlier today. That is not the most puzzling aspect of the case. The dead man, called Renetic, was shot in the back with a blast rifle, after was found lying near his body with bloodstains on it. Has been sent back to the for analysis. Two other men were found at the scene when I arrived. One was Hand and Gil. He was an arm. The other was Richard Rickard Lessig, who was carrying a hunting 
Both men say they did not do anything and that they came across the body, but both men also accused the other. Obviously, there's more to this than what we've been told. Uh, is there anything else I should know? There's one last thing. When I arrived, Hannah was holding his side and Rickard was favoring one of his legs. Do well to remember this as we progress through the case. So Hannah inside, Rickard here. Is there anything else you need? Or if there's anything else you need. Okay, Rickard. It was you. Helping that Twi'lek investigate, no doubt. He seems stumped. I'm Rickard Lusoff. Maybe you can figure this out and let me get out of here. Tell me what happened. Well, I was out hunting Eriaz when I spotted one over here by the bridge. I pull out my rifle and aim at it. I couldn't see it that well, mind you, because the damn sun was in my eyes. So I shoot it and it drops. I walk over here and find Handed standing over Calder's body. So why don't you get this whole farce over with and send that whiner Handed to the prison he belongs in? What was wrong with your leg, though? So, what do you want to know? Uh, Bullock said you were limping. Are you hurt? Well, kind of sprained my ankle running through the bush before I found the body, but it's nothing that serious. I want to ask you something else. So, what... What did you see? Well, I was out hunting Eriaz south of here, and I saw one over by the bridge. The sun was pretty much right behind it, though, so I couldn't see it none too clearly. I shot, and when I came over here, I found Handon standing over the body, holding his side. Calder must have been hunting it himself, because there was a rifle lying close to the body. Bullock's got that now. Mine, too. I want that back. So he hid the giant body? So, what do you want to... Why were you here? I told you already, didn't I? Was hunting some areas. Haven't seen many in the area recently, what with those cat hounds acting up. But they're still around. Was in my blind a little south of here when I spotted one, like I said before. I shot and pow, went down. But when I come over here, there's Handon standing over the body, and the Eriaz was gone. Now, I don't have nothing to do with this, so can I go what now? What if you shot him? Uh, so, what else what? is there? Nothing right. more right now. Greetings, Apprentice. You must be the one Master Baluk has enlisted to help him. I am an information retrieval droid. I can assist you by accessing the records of both the Jedi Enclave and the central government facilities here on Dantooine. If you have any need of my services, please They're on do not Dantooine? hesitate to talk to me. I have already retrieved some information from the archives on Cold Anetic, Rickard Lusoff, and Handan Gould. I have also had time to examine the body of Mr. Netic. Is there any information you require? What did you find out about the body? My preliminary analysis of the body indicates that he was killed approximately three hours ago by a single energy blast to the torso. Is there any other information you need? Uh, tell me about these planes. These planes are rife with wild animals, not all of them benign. The Iriars are mostly docile, but can easily be provoked to violence. Cath hounds, on the other hand, are much more deadly. There have been over 35 catalogued attacks on settlers by calf hounds in the last two weeks. A general advisory was given out three days ago to carry a weapon at all times when on the plains. Small farms and holdings dot the plains and can provide safe refuge for those in need. Is there any other information you need? Uh, we'll have Very more well. questions later. I will later. be here to assist you. Ah, greetings. You must be assisting Master Baluk in his investigation. I'm Handon Gould. Perhaps you've heard of me? Uh, yes, of course, Mr. Gould. Really? <clears throat> well, then I assure you, on my reputation, I had nothing to do with the killing. I will help you with the case as best I can, though. You see, I was out here running earlier today. Yes, running. I do that a lot. Can't stand speeders, never use them. Keeps me in shape, too, you know. Anyway... I was out running on the other side of that bridge there, and all of a sudden I heard a shot coming from over here. I ran over and found this man Calder lying on the ground, dead. Did you see the killer? And I saw Rickard come skulking out of the shadows of the rocks south of the river, and I knew something was wrong. I hit my emergency button and called the Enclave right away. Well, there. That's my story. Now, please hurry this up and arrest Rickard so I can get on with my day. That How can I be of further assistance? I had other questions. Building your side, are you injured? In injured? No, of course not. Why would I have been? Fit as a bathtub. <laughs> I run. I don't know if I mentioned that. 
Uh, that's all for now. Of course, of course. Shot from behind with a blaster. Jesus, that is... That is just... Super mutilated. Okay, chill. Chill, buddy. I want to discuss the murder. He said that he was nearby and heard a shot in the I'm going to find color of your dad, he said record point. I uh, I think it was him. Is there any other info? Well, I can't ask him enough questions. These planes are rife with wild animals, not all of them benign. The Iriyas are the small farms and holdings dot the planes, and can- Is there any other info? My preliminary in- Is there- Very well. How can I be a further- why were you out here? I was taking my daily constitutional. I just happened to be running by when I heard a shot. I ran over and found Calder's body lying there. <coughs> Do you often run around the plains? Yes, quite often. I generally prefer running to anything else. Can't stand speeders. A healthy body will breed a healthy mind, as I always say. <laughs> uh, I want to ask you something. How can I be of further assistance? I already asked you this. Actually, I, I didn't see anything. I was over across the bridge. I heard a shot and came over. I just got here when I saw Rickard coming out of the rock. I had no idea what he was going to do, so I hit my... Master Baloo came out here with his droid and he started... I hope that you'll be able to make a more informed decision. Of course. Of course. Can I go and, like, examine stuff? Ooh, can I... lure you all... into death? What's over here? That's the metallograms. All right, go team! Oh no, come on! You guys can't come over, you jerks! So, what do you want to know? Uh. Right. Wow. Okay. Simply had no bearing on the question yet. I don't believe this is definitive evidence. What he said is not directly false. We're able to deduce the facts of this case. I have to take these men to the enclave and deal with this myself. But since you have talked to the suspect, there's no time in your trial. Uh, I will continue my investigation. So, what is... Right. I mean, can I just not ask him about the weapon? How can I be a further... In injured? No, of course not. Why would I have been? Fit as a bantha. <laughs> I run, I don't know if I mentioned Is that the... I mean, is it that he How can I be denies the... being injured? Uh, what do you say? Uh, well, actually, I, I didn't see anything. I was over across the bridge. I heard a shot and came over. I can tell you I was sure surprised to see Calder's body lying there. I just got here when I saw Rickard coming out of the rocks holding his blaster. I was terrified. I had no idea what he was going to do, so I hit my emergency button and called the Enclave. Master Balut came out here with his droid and started questioning us. I, I think he really doesn't understand what's going on. I hope that you'll be able to make a more informed decision and get me out of here soon. I have things I have to do. How could... Of course. Of course. Listen, if you need anything, I shall be glad to assist.
I mean, this dude, like, I'm pretty sure he shot either this dude or Calder. Is there any Tell me about the plane. These planes are rife with wild animals, not all of them benign. The Iriars are mostly docile, but can easily be provoked to violence. Cath hounds, on the other hand, are much more deadly. There have been over 35 catalogued attacks on settlers by cath hounds in the last two weeks. A general advisory was given out three days ago to carry a weapon at all times when on the plains. Small farms and holdings dot the plains and can provide safe refuge for those in need. Is there any other information you need? Um, My preliminary analysis. Is there any? Thank. So, what do you? What did you see? Here? Well, I was out hunting eerie as south of here, and I saw one over by the bridge. The sun was pretty much right behind it, though, so I couldn't see it none too clearly. I shot, and when I came over here, I found hand Calder must have been hunting it himself, because there. Were so, what do you want to? Well, I kind of sprained my ankle. Right. Uh... Okay, I, I think I've exhausted all the dialogue options with everyone except for Bullock for right now. It happened as Rickard said, the sun would not have been visible at the time. You seem to have caught Rickard in a bit of a lie. Seems as correct as who he can help me. This doesn't prove Rickard is guilty, but I think you've taken the first step in the round and dismissed her. We'll proceed on the next point. We need to find the motive for the killing. We need to talk to him about the relationship with Rickard. Is there anything else you need? I will make here when you question the witnesses. So, what do you want? Uh, did you know the victim? Yeah, I knew him. Hell, we've known each other for a good long time. Doesn't mean I really have to have liked the slime ball. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't be so hard on him. Especially now that he's dead. We actually got along pretty well most of the time. We just had our differences. We were actually business partners. Are they like both? We were involved in some orbit to ground transport to... operations for Aerotech. Can I leave now? I should probably be the one to give the news to his wife. Uh, so, why would someone want to kill him? Jedi are so predictable, always seeing some greater purpose behind everything. When the simple answer is usually the right one. Can't you see that it must have been Handon? I found him standing over the damned body. I don't know why this is causing you so much trouble. You almost seem as lost as this Baluk guy. Right. right. Uh, Handon. I'm sure he had a hand in this. How can I be of further assistance? Did you know the victim? I knew him a little bit, but I was not any sort of great friend to him or anything. I never really associated with him that much. In truth, I didn't really want to. He had a reputation. A very inconsiderate of family, I heard. But merely having heard unkind things about someone wouldn't make me want to kill him. No one says you killed him yet. Well, I mean, he's dead, so if we killed him, it would have happened already. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm getting a bit agitated. Why must we remain here? Can't you see that Rickard must have shot him? Uh, of course. For now. So. Yeah, I knew him. Hell, we've known each other for a good long time. Doesn't mean I really have to have liked the slime. No one said you did. <sighs> Maybe I shouldn't be so hard on him. Especially now that he's dead. We actually got along pretty well most of the time. We just had our differences. We were actually business partners. We were involved in some orbit to ground transport operations for Aerotech. Can I leave now? I should probably be the one to get. 
Right. Is there any... Can you tell me about Calder and Hand? The Southwood Speeder rental business has records that over the past seven weeks, a speeder had been rented by Mr. Nettick and Mr. Gold. Is there any other information you need? Uh, Calder and Rickard? According to the municipal authorities near the Garrow spaceport, there had been news of violent drunken activity in a cantina attached to the port. Apparently, a Mr. R. Lusoff was making accusations at a Mr. C. Nettick about cheating him in a business deal. Jedi Tuka was dispatched to the scene and restored order. Is there any... Thank you. Yeah, Luke. Oh. Uh, Hidden told me he barely knows the victim, Rickard and the victim are dead with Rickard, they got along quite well. On the surface, another man seems to have a motive for killing Don. No, they, they didn't like each other. He just said he didn't like him. They had a fight over business matters. Ikinkunobamulerachikun Alright, uh... So, what do you want? What about the weapon found by the body? That blaster? Never seen it before. Calder himself had a preference for Ichani weaponry. He had this one really nice light blaster rifle that he always used. Always wished I could get myself a rifle like the one he had. Ichanis make delicate weapons with too little firepower. Lightweight stuff, if you ask me. That Thanks for your input, Candorous. Calder only had the one rifle, too. So he either must have borrowed that, or it's someone else's. Uh... So... You thought Calder... Uh, yeah, why not? You thought Calder was cheating. Now, I don't love Calder, but we go back a long way. We run a suborbital shipping and transport company out of Garang Spaceport. We've been partners in that business for well over 20 years, and we've been doing just fine the way we are. Uh, you can deny it, but there was bad blood between you. Right. Okay. That was... He agreed. How can I be further assistance? Uh, new calendar better than you admit. We're gonna speed it with him. But I, I realize this must seem like a motive to you, but I assure you it isn't. I dislike Calder, true. I would punch his face in, given the opportunity, but I would not kill him. I did not punch his face in. Why? My wife was cheating on me with him. He slept in my own bed while I was in the next room. But as much as hmm? I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife away. I must try not to take the law into my own hands. I was just out running, trying to clear my head for the divorce proceedings, not stalking him to kill him. Running is not a crime. Uh, How can what do you know about the weapon found by the body? That blaster was stolen from my house last week. I never knew what happened to it. I hardly have enough money to afford a single blaster, let alone another. I can't tell you how important it is to have a weapon on hand with all these ravenous cath hounds around. Even an Eries can take a man down if it gets in the mood. Every settler has a weapon. It's our most prized possession. I would most appreciate it if I could have that back after you determine that Rickard is the killer. How can I be of further assistance? You wanted to kill Calder for having an affair with your wife. I could block off, maybe, sure, but not kill him. Oh my. I hope you don't find that incriminating. You know, normally I'm not prone to outbursts like that, but Calder... Mr. Nedick, he was not a very nice person. Not... A very nice person to me or my family. It sounds like I it was pretty nice to your wife. for several weeks, but had no proof until two days ago. It seems Calder was seeing my wife 
right under my nose, no less. Well, if you can't keep her, it's your own fault. Okay, Candorous. Much as I may hate him for that, I could not kill him. It may have been my own fault for driving my wife. I was just out. Oh, wait, that's <laughs> fine. What does Mr. Droidy have to say? Uh, there's a woman by the Jedi Temple that would really, really Is enjoy you. Uh, who the weapon found at the scene? We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample, other than the fact he did not belong to Calder. Is there any other in Is there a report of Hannon's ba blaster being stolen? I am sorry, but I seem to be failing you. I have searched hmm. and searched. I thought to find the record of the missing weapon report Mr. Gould filed with the authorities, but there does not seem to be one. Is there any other information you need? Nope. Alright. What do you think about How that, can I be Mr. Gould? Oh. Okay. Of course. I guess the Luke. Oh. Wanna discuss the murder? Uh Blaster is Handon's, but he lied about it being stolen. There's a blood sample on the weapon that had been sent back for analysis just before he arrived. Perhaps he could inquire the information and write about it. Alright. Uh, tell me about the blood sample. I have just received back an analysis of a sample of the blood found on the weapon. It had been sent back to the enclave just before you arrived. The blood on the weapon is definitely not called us. Unfortunately, there was a bacterial contaminant in the sample that had been taken back to the laboratory, and it had become degraded. We cannot get any more specific analysis from that sample other than the fact it did not belong to Calder. Is there any other information you need? No. Thank Uh, You're wrong, sir. Didn't belong to the victim. So the blood must belong to the suspects, but which one? It's... Uh... Tan is the one that was his side injured? Yeah. He's clutching his side. Perhaps we should examine him a little more closely. Hey, 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 what are you doing? There is blood. Hinn appears to have suffered some sort of blaster wound to his side. Seems there's only one likely scenario. Richard, Rickard killed Calder for cheating in business, while shooting Calder must have also hit Hinn by accident. Uh... I think they both did it. Because... Andon killed Calder, and Rickard accidentally shot Andon then? No, oh, they're both guilty. So, I like how you come to this conclusion. You know Calder was cheating Rickard in business, but what possible motive could Andon have for killing Calder? Uh... He's jealous of Calder. No. Andon admitted Calder was having an affair with his wife. Yes, well done. Both men had reason why I called her dead. It's my theory of this morning's events. Both men knew Calder would be out here this morning and was planning to kill him. Hannon found him first and shot him because of the affair Calder was having with his wife shortly after Rickard arrived on the scene. The medicine he saw Hannon and thought it was Calder, so he shot him in retaliation for the credits Calder had cheated him about the business. Hannon would have dropped his blaster when he found the scene coming to blood. probably thought Rickard was going to kill him and called himself. Hoping he would have been this when Rickard died. Damn both of you. That is enough. The culpability of both of you is in the murder. The attempted murder of Calder and Kazan. Additionally, Rickard lust off when he charged with aggravated assault the attempted murder of Han and Gold. I place both of you under the arrest of the Jedi Order and will escort you to the holy facility in the Elm. You've done well here. It's obvious you have been studying your lessons carefully. Be sure to inform the Jedi Council of the Dark Good day. You made the Force move. There's a long. I took way too long doing that. Uh, yay, level up. Alright, so we'll finish by leveling up here. Uh. Hmm. Treat injury. We'll do two and treat injury. Powers. Ooh, do I want to take cure? I might want to take cure. 
This Bastila won't always be around, especially on uh, Rat Attack. So that's that's a good point. Me. Huh? Okay, mission. Auto level up. Candrus, auto level up. All right, so we're gonna leave that there for today's episode. Sorry for not doing really much of anything. Uh, but we did the side quest. We got leveled up. So next time we'll hopefully be able to take out either Juhani or the Mandalorians or both. Uh, but that will be on I think Saturday yeah Saturday so see you then bye everyone